Hi, good to see you. I'm Greg, here with another floor framing detail from the Trust Joist installation guide for floor and roof framing. If you're watching this video, you're interested in learning about how to properly install joist hangers. So let's take a look at the hanger detail H3. This shows you how to connect flush TGI joists to a masonry wall or a steel beam. First, we're going to install the mud sill. Now in this case, we're using a 2x10. When you're using top mounted hangers in this application, it is important that you only have a maximum of 1 quarter inch overhang on the flush beam plate. Here we are making and drilling the mud sill for the foundation bolts. And don't forget, it's really important at this point to check the foundation for square and dimensional accuracy. Next, install the 2x10 mud sill using washers, nuts, and fastening down to the mud cell tight to the foundation. Lay out the 2x10 mud cell for hanger placement. Here you can see that we're pulling the layout on the mud cell to determine the TGI and hanger location. Let's go ahead and install the hangers on the layout marks. We'll want to apply construction adhesive to the seat of the first few hangers. That can really help prevent those annoying floor squeaks. Once all of the hangers are in place and the adhesive is in the bottom, it's a pretty simple procedure to install the TGI joists. Be sure to follow the connector manufacturer's recommendations for nailing requirements and the appropriate fasteners. We hope you have learned more about the H3 detail and this has been helpful in understanding how to properly install hangers. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video brought to you by Warehouser, manufacturer of Trust Joist engineered wood products. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series of floor framing details, which you'll find online at trustjoist.com videos. You can also find more detailed information on floor framing in the Trust Joist installation guide for floor and roof framing, which is available online or from your local representative.